Many of you have heard us talk about the financial benefits of bringing an associate into your practice and later become a partner. What I'm going to talk about today are three considerations that I want you to think about when uh, bringing an associate into your practice that are non-financial related. The first one is uh, the idea of closing the office. The second one is a sense of security of having a partner or associate in your practice. And the third is a sense of camaraderie. So if we start with the first one with the sense of uh, closing the office, that's one of the things that all of our clients don't like to do. When they go on vacation, uh, they close the office for a week, they take some continuing education courses. What do you do with the staff? Do you pay the staff? Do they work? Do they clean the office? Uh, what, do you, what do you do in a situation like that? Well, obviously, if you have an associate or a partner in your practice, then the practice can stay open. Uh, they can see emergencies. They can continue operating the practice just like normal. And obviously, the practice continues to make money. Uh, the second piece or second idea is the sense of security. With a partner, you guys agree in the beginning when you become partners that in the event of an untimely death, then you'll buy the other one out, uh, regardless of which one gets, uh, which one passes away first. So you have that security for your family and loved ones. And I can tell you from experience that your loved ones do not want to deal with selling the practice during their grieving process. And the third consideration is a camaraderie. Uh, most of the time we have a solo practitioner, it's one doctor and five or six staff members. Uh, typically the doctor doesn't confide as much in the staff members. Uh, they don't have anyone to treatment plan with. Bringing another doctor into the practice really helps with the treatment planning process, uh, the camaraderie, they get to share responsibilities and help the office run more uh, efficiently and smoothly. So these are three items that I want you to consider when bringing in an associate department.